Hi, my name is Juan Carlos Rocha. I'm a PhD student here at the Stockholm Resilience Center, and today I'm going to talk about global drivers of regime shifts. Regime shifts are large reconfigurations of system structure and function that happen in ecosystems, and they are important because it affects the flow of ecosystem services that we as society rely on. For example, if you think, if you think on a lake or, or the Amazon forest, it can tip over from being Amazon forest towards savanna, affecting a lot of, of ecosystem services like food production, climate regulation, uh, the, the circulation of water and rain that will affect communities living there. That's the kind of phenomenon that we are studying here. But um, most of the studies so far have been focused on one particular case or one particular ecosystem. We are trying to get the big picture. We are trying to put all the cases together in a database and try to learn about that. Um, so the question I'm trying to answer today is what are the main drivers globally when you look at different cases of regime shifts. But what is a driver? A driver is a force, could be natural or usually human um, induced uh, activity that has an impact on the ecosystem. For example, agriculture, fishing, deforestation, those are drivers of ecosystem change. Once the, the, the human pressure uh, cross a threshold, the system can reconfigure itself and go towards a different regime. Uh, so we can think of drivers as forces pushing the ball out of the basin towards a different regime. Um, in my studies, what I do is um, analyzing the regime shift database. I use a technique called network analysis to see what are the drivers that tend to occur more often than expected, and what kind of patterns can I see uh, of the regime shift causation and consequences. Um, uh, today I'm going to present three results about this question, the main drivers of regime shifts. The first result are that uh, climate change and agriculture are the main clusters of drivers of regime shifts. Uh, it's not surprising that climate change come into play because um, it's, it's a set of drivers that is affecting the whole planet. But agriculture is something that happens at more local or regional levels, indicating that we can do something about that through the way we consume food, we cultivate crops, or, or we organize agriculture in a space. We can also do stuff uh, on the way we eat fish. Fishing is also a, a strong pressure on regime shifts in marine ecosystems. So here I'm, I'm clustering a lot of variables that has to do with food production and with increase of uh, greenhouse gases, increasing warming and, and changing the climate. The second main result of my, uh, of my study is that uh, marine regime shifts tend to share more drivers than terrestrial ones. Uh, it indicates that by addressing a handful of variables, you can actually avoid a lot of these phenomena in aquatic systems, like lakes, uh, rivers, and marine ecosystems. But uh, it also means that as drivers uh, tend to occur together, um, the marine regime shifts can synchronize in time and space. So that's the second result. Marine shifts. Um, could probably synchronize in time and space as the drivers interact with, uh, with marine systems. And the third question is, okay, but what does it mean for management? Why do we care about that? And what can we do to, to, to deal with this phenomenon? So we look at, at all the drivers in our database and we see uh, whether the kind of um, proposed action that we can do about them and at what scale does this action make sense? And what we figure out is um, most of the drivers of regime shift um, require an international uh, kind of level of cooperation or coordination of actions to actually have an influence on, on the planets or on the drivers. Um, so that's the main result. Uh, we need to, to implement our actions at the international arena. But it doesn't mean that we cannot do the stuff at the local level, at your house or at the community level. It means that we need to think on, on actions on, at the different levels of, of governance. So we, we, we call for more polycentric institutions uh, to deal with regime shifts. Where the international one, the international arena is where, where most things will happen in the future in order to deal with regime shifts. So to summarize, uh, regime shifts are phenomena that, that matter, uh, are important because um, they change uh, the flow of ecosystem services that we as a society rely on. We have studied what are the main global drivers of regime shifts. 
we discovered that there are some drivers that are better studied than others, but by ad addressing those few drivers where we have a lot of knowledge, we probably won't be able to avoid region shifts. We need to think uh, more systemically, and we need to include uh, clusters of drivers that happens to be important. In this case, climate change and agriculture are the main drivers of regime shift globally. We need to think also that some systems are synchronized by sharing a lot of processes and drivers. Uh, we need to think also uh, of uh, implementing our actions at different scales, where the most important scales happen to be the international one.